there are like so while I'm at uh, Fort Ticonderoga for the French and Indian War history of the place, um, it did actually figure into some other parts of American history. Um, it was in May of 1775 that um, Ethan Allen and his Green Mountain Boys and uh, Benedict Arnold um, attacked here. Attacked is a little bit of an overstatement. The British had only garrisoned this somewhat uh, ruined fort um, into the you know the beginning era of the of the American Revolution the small garrison of some 40 some guys hadn't even heard that the war had started yet so when the Green Mountain Boys and Allen showed up in that late uh, May evening of uh, 1775 and banged on the doors right here um, there was little to no fight I believe there was one shot fired by a British officer um, I mean a British soldier who was um, uh, standing guard that night, but um, it being rainy and they're not expecting attack, they didn't really um, put up much of a defense. The Green Mountain Boys were able to rush in through an unlocked door, and as the famous painting and legend has it, they like storm up here into the officers' quarters and sort of siege the fort without firing a shot. And, and then it's in uh, the winter of 1775 and 76 that um, those guns that are captured here are taken overland um, and then used by the new um, head of uh, artillery for the uh, Colonial Army. Henry Knox uses those to stage them above Dorchester Heights and take back uh, the city of Boston, which was under siege from the British. So the uh, history here really goes from the 1600s through the 1700s and well through that period of all those wars and conflicts.